now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Thursday, February 23rd. Another day off yesterday, so hopefully you're all well rested going into this Thursday. We'll start announcements off like we like to do. Pledge of Allegiance. I'm already standing. Feel free to stand if you'd like to join me. Here we go. Teachers, please, by the way, I haven't said it in a while, but I still mean it every day. If you don't mind, can you turn your cameras on? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. See, now I can see Mr. Hilton. It's getting scruff back. He's joined the Beard Brigade again. That's always good. Um, today is B-Day. And the B word today is beard. That's where it comes from today. A um, couple of announcements. Not a ton. So that means I'm going to do a super stuffed Warrior of the Week special today. So we've missed some school recently. Attention all girls tennis players. The meeting from yesterday is now today at 3 o'clock in room 135. Also known as the IJAG classroom. See you at 3 p.m. We should be done by 345. See Ms. Pins if you are unable to make that meeting. And by the way, she loves tennis. I keep saying I'm going to challenge her to Mario Tennis, but it hasn't happened yet. That feels more like my speed. Thank you, Mr. Glenn Angel, for the dance party in your room, by the way. I appreciate that. AP exams. This is, uh, this is for all of my folks who are students taking a semester, second semester only class. Um, they can register before the 27th. So you got four days left. Um, and you can see Dr. Sizemore or talk to their AP teacher. Late registration is also open. So even if you're a full year kid and you want to take a now, late registration is going on for four more days. Sophomores and juniors, if you're interested in the life-changing leadership program for youth, you need to go to the RYLA retreat. It's week-long leadership retreat that helps past participants have, quote, unquote, the best weekend of their life. And uh, it's a life-changing experience. So if you're interested in joining that, it's put on by Rotary. So see some of the Rotary folks. They can help guide you in the right path. Warriors on Broadway is having their audition today after school in the Little Theater. Mr. Willems is the person to see. Room 121 is the place to go. Uh, Mount Mercy is having their visit. That's going to be on March the 27th. And you'll want to see Miss Mangridge for that one. Oh, that works. That works well. Doesn't say that on the announcements, but yeah, see Miss Stoll. That makes sense. She's also kind of working with a rotary. She's kind of over the rotary. So see her. Warriors of the week. The first one is the person who sent a message to me just a moment ago, Miss Stoll. Uh, Miss Sherry Stoll has been involved in our school. Was this year four, Miss Sherry Stoll? I think this is year four for her here, um, and she has been challenged in a lot of ways since she's been here um, trying to keep a, a German program. So obviously everybody should say good talk to her when you see her in the hallway. Um, but she's also been heavily involved in a lot of things outside of that, whether it be volleyball, whether it be helping with Interact and Rotary, um, FCA. And I know I'm missing some other acronyms that she's volunteered to take on at various times. Bottom line is, uh, Ms. Stoll, we've just appreciated over the years how you've been willing to do anything in the best interest of kids and giving them opportunities, including even teaching early birds so kids can take some early bird classes online even before they fully enroll here. Um, and that extends even to kids who aren't even in our building. They may go to some of our other schools, yet she'll help teach them German so they get a leg up. So here's to you, Ms. Stoll, today. Thank you. Uh, my next one is... One of the best laughers in our building, Ms. Kayla Martin. Uh, she's been running a fun, fun class uh, since I've been here for math. Um, she has always, always classified her as a person who can build relationships with any student. Um, and she can handle things in-house. She is one of those teachers who has always been about, I can handle this. I will reach the family. I'll reach the kid. I got this. And I'd say 99 times out of 100, she's not needed backup. Not saying no one else has, but she has not. And that's been a point of pride for her. And it's worked really well with some of the most challenging kids that we have. Um, and she's she's volunteered for that role. So uh, among other things, Ms. Martin, thank you for always being willing to take a challenging workload um, and having the grit, the determination to make relationships with any student regardless. Uh, of background or challenges that they may have with you 
on any given day. Uh, my next one, because I'm going for four today. I'm getting the four piece. It's a little chicken McNugget happy meal of teachers today. Uh, my next one is Blue's mom, not Mr. Blue, uh, but the one who has slightly more fur. Uh, that would be Miss Miller in autism. Uh, she's been here for a little bit of time, and if nothing else, she's Blue's mom. So that's pretty great. But in addition to that, um, she has this year, along with uh, Ms. Lewis, been tasked with trying to help run three classrooms, which I can imagine anybody knows it's hard to run one and a half classrooms every day. Um, but she's done it with grace, with poise, um, and made no excuses about how hard that challenge has been. She's maintained uh, all the responsibilities of being a teacher on top of that, and she showed up to work and been positive. So uh, thank you, Ms. Miller. And my last person is in my bottom left corner of my screen right now. One of my favorite Southern folks ever in life. And she knows I'm talking about her because she's smiling. And that would be Ms. Gwenna, uh, who has been a thought partner for me since day one, since I've been here. Um, and I won't make it about me because I've been making it about kids for everybody else. So uh, Ms. Gwenna has had like really great conversations academically and behaviorally with her kids since I have been here. Um, she has challenged kids' mindset. She has pushed them to think differently about what they can and can't do. Um, and she's done it from a caring and considerate place. Like she's never done it and just said, you can do better, figure it out. It's always been, you can do it better. We can figure it out together. Um, and I have seen how that has shaped a lot of kids' mindsets. They felt one way in August, they felt a different way in October. Um, so thank you, Ms. Gwynup, for all the work you do to challenge people's mindsets every day in your class. Now, on to birthdays. I'm not going to mess that up this time because last time I messed that up. So we've got four warrior birthdays today. We've got Kate and Buonadonna, Aiden Anderson, Skylar High, and Brennan Gears. Happy birthday to our four warriors today. We have no staff birthdays, and now our lunch menu. Chicken and waffles, warrior edition. Chicken tenders and waffle sticks with syrup. But you also get mashed potatoes and gravy. You're getting sauce fest there, all right? And then you've also got uh, crispy chicken sandwiches. It says the country bland. I don't think that's right. I don't think anybody wants country bland. That sounds like an awful music group. Uh, I'm sure it's something else. And then there's cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza. Oh, and a country blend. Uh, and yes, a Gabby Wickham, happy birthday to uh, belated from yesterday. I'll try and put them on there tomorrow because we did. We missed some yesterday. Sides include orange slices, bananas, apples, pears, cucumber slices, and assorted fresh veggies. That concludes your announcements. Oh, one more thing. I'm wearing this shirt again today because they are officially going to be on sale like starting tomorrow. So if you want one of our special edition Black History Month, uh, Black Excellence shirts. They're going to be on sale. How much? I have no idea. Uh, I'll hopefully have more information on that tomorrow. Uh, all proceeds will go toward being able to put on like that assembly next year because some of our participants and performers need a little bit of money to get out of bed in the morning. That We don't want to be completely starving artists. So if, if you want to get one of these, look out for more details, both this shirt and the one that a lot of our performers were wearing. Those will both be part of an online pop-up store that'll start, I think, tomorrow. So I'll certainly have more details then. Now, that concludes all announcements. Take care. Remember, it's always a great day to be a warrior. See ya.